what's up YouTube so I am doing a video my student here is going on the highway today for the very first time you guys will recognize this guy he's like one of my better students he's like a really fast learner from jump he never he never really struggled like most of most people do so he's doing well enough where I am comfortable enough to take him on the highway and you will notice that I don't take much people on the highway because most people are not taking enough driving lessons to be comfortable enough to go on the highway and I refuse to go on the highway with anyone that I don't think is capable right so that said please like the video share the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and hit that bell hit that notification notification bell all right so we're gonna go over speed up past this truck pass it wait until you can see it in the mirror and then go over in front of it all right go ahead and slow down for the train track all right so we're going on the right side go here now when you're going on the 95, we're going to speed up to merge, right? I'll show you. Just take your time. Go up there and speed up. It's harder to, to, to merge onto the highway than driving on the highway. The hardest part is merging onto the highway. So you're going to look in your side mirror there. Look over your left shoulder and speed up and merge into the lane. And that's really it. <laughs> that's, really it. that's not, I mean, there was no traffic there, but so it was easier than, you know, if you're coming out and there's a lot of traffic. But really, all you have to do is look to make sure it's clear. Look for a slot, increase your speed, and merge over. And then basically, once you're on the highway, you're maintaining a certain speed. Like right now, we're going to drive about 65, and we're going to change lanes a few times on the highway right so we're gonna pass this guy in the white truck so again you look in the look up here look in the side mirror look in your blind spot speed up and go over yeah just like that and again you will notice driving on the highway is not much different it's just faster than driving on the regular road you see what i'm saying but again, the fact that it's faster means it's much more dangerous. <laughs> so, yeah, it's more, much more of an opportunity to, to you know, I mean, you're doing, yeah, you're doing 50 now, so you're gonna go up to at least 65. And then speed up and go over one more lane. And go, yeah. All right, go up. Driving on the highway, like I said, it's, it's not much different. The lanes are wide, the lanes are pretty straight. So once you're on it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you get over the fear of it. <laughs> you know, people are scared to go on the highway. And I understand because again, you're going, on the regular roads, you're doing 35 to 45. Here you're doing 65, 70, uh, so it's a lot faster and then you have to deal with a lot more of those big things <laughs> on the highway and the regular slow roads down in the blind spots. yeah so you stay slow down a little bit and then go yeah yeah it's either you pass him or you stay behind him never beside him yeah you don't see a lot of those on the regular roads so you have to deal with that but yeah it's, it's pretty straightforward Yeah, but you're handling it like a pro, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about a pro yet, but okay. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go down to like Hollywood, and then exit and go down to Hollywood B3, and then a bus stop in distance. Huh? A bus stop in distance. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you have to stop, well, first of all, we're not going to stop on the highway unless there's a traffic jam. <laughs> you understand? But if you have to stop, the distance that you need to stop is going to be a lot longer than 
if you're driving 35 because now you're driving like 60 something miles per hour so if you have to stop you will have to start slowing down earlier than you would at half the speed but again we're not stopping on the highway unless there's a reason to stop like you know you stop on the highway you might not live to talk about it if you just make it stop for no reason so yeah you definitely don't want to just stop because you're confused or scared that's the reason why i don't bring people to the highway ordinarily because what people do when they're nervous their first instinct is to stop you know something scared them they want to stop but you can't stop on the highway like that so you got to keep going even if you're scared you got to keep going so and you know if you if you're coming up to an exit and you're distracted for whatever reason which you should not be but say you are missing the exit that you're supposed to come off at you're not going to stop and reverse to go on the exit you're definitely going to pass it then go to the next exit and then come off there so do i have to just speed up or stay at the same speed because they're merging well they're merging so yeah you can just continue at your speed uh, if they if you need to slow down to let them in you slow down like in this case you don't you just keep going you see what i'm saying they will slow down they have to adjust their speed accordingly but you know if they come in into your path then you obviously slow down to allow them to come in but you know most of the time the person merging is the person that have to adjust their speeds to but you both have to adjust the speed honestly to make sure it can happen without an accident like you're not gonna just go into an accident because you have the right of way you're not yeah go straight That's State Road 84. I'll tell you when we're exiting. We're exiting on Hollywood Boulevard. And then we're going to go down to Hollywood Beach. It's a nice day. I mean, it's been raining practically every day. Today is a nice beach day. Even though there's no one going. Have you guys gone down to the beach? No one's going to the beach, you know. I got a few, a handful of people are going to the beach. Like I thought as soon as they opened it up, everybody was going to rush out, but that has not been the case. And 95 is full of these big old trucks. every 10 miles per hour that you're going you need two car lengths so yes on the highway you know you're driving down the road at 60 miles per hour you know you definitely need 12 car lengths between you and the guy in front of you because if you have to stop suddenly it will not stop like when you decide okay you're right next to you sometimes you're driving on the highway you see some people hitched up onto the other car if, they, if the person in front of them stops for any reason, they're crashing into them because you can't stop that quickly. So when I'm driving on the highway, I always leave enough room. There's really no point in being hitched up on the behind and need somebody tailgating them, right? I don't see why people do that. So I always leave room. It's like this guy. You see how fast he's going? Like if, the car, if that car stops, he cannot stop. 
is like way too close for the speed that he's going. So where are you? This is fun. This is good. You have more than enough time to stop. This guy, this little red car is good. You see? He's leaving in a, or she's leaving in that room. That guy is definitely not. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He's got like two car lengths at 65 miles per hour. <laughs> that's, that's not a good, that's not good. This guy is tailgating too. Yeah. A lot of people tailgate. I see it every time I'm driving. I'm like, wow. You know, most of the time, no one's gonna stop for no you know, sudden, but you never know. You have to be prepared to stop if somebody just jam on the brakes. Okay, so we're gonna go into the right lane. So, again, look up here, look here. Look in that blind spot. You're in the crosswalk. You had time to actually stop. To go actually. Because now you stopped across the pedestrian crosswalk. <laughs> as long as you cross the line, the first line, as long as you cross that first line before it turns to red, you're okay. And we had time. We were right across it when you stopped. I mean, it's okay. We're, you know, there's no point in rushing if you're not comfortable, but we had time. Only with JCs. I used to go to a lot of parties over in that building over there. Back in the days. <laughs> you wanted to take a rest? I'm driving on the highway. <laughs> All right, man, that was stressful. <laughs> Train track. I want to hit this train. Guess not. Oh, there it is. Try to stay in your lane here. This thing right here. Yeah, alright. Alright, so we're gonna go into the right lane. Let's look at the right. Stay right here. We're gonna go through, go around the circle and then.
Pretty nice. They're fixing it up. Um, yeah, look at that truck. Yeah, they're fixing it up. They're they like redoing all this road and everything. Brand new. They just did that. So yeah, downtown Hollywood is looking pretty nice right about now. So I'm gonna end this video here. So as you can see, he did really, really well on the highway. He went on the highway, we exited the highway, we're still alive. <laughs> so that was successful. But yeah, I, I actually knew he was gonna do well because again, that's why I took him on the highway. I don't just take people on the highway because they wanna go on the highway, right? So he was always, a really fast learner and he did great from jump so you know he was one of the better candidates for a highway driving lessons okay so again thanks for watching please like the video share the video and like i say if you haven't subscribed to the channel i am asking you please to subscribe because i need the support to build up the channel I mean, the channel's doing pretty pretty good but you know i need a lot more push to help me get to those bigger numbers all right so thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video